What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see and as you can tell by the title of this video, we are doing some gardening today. Showing you guys how we built our flower bed. We're planting vegetables today. We're gonna leave flowers for another day and fruit for another day. So today we're just building it and planting them and it is a really, really windy day. So hopefully this sounds okay and I don't have to do a voiceover. And we'll talk a little bit more about every little thing either on a voiceover or Alec and I just talking about it at towards the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, let's go start our little flower bed. It is because it says a, it says exterior composite trims. Wait, what do you mean? It's gonna be stacked. That's why I'm gonna Oh, say. it's not gonna be like that? No. Nope. Stacked? It'll be two. I know, but it's not gonna be stacked like that. It's no. gonna be stacked like that. No, it'll be stacked on top of each other. Okay, yeah, that's what I meant. Thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, well don't check with them though. I think I want like, do you want like butter lettuce or like kale or something like that? I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the seeds that we got. We got sweet pepper, melon, onion, watermelon, basil, lettuce, kale, tomato, rosemary, cilantro, summer squash, cucumber, parsley, spearmint, summer squash, and onion. All right, babe, tell us the first steps. Uh, we just picked up some pressure treated lumber from uh, Menard. So what I'm gonna do, we bought six boards. It's gonna be an eight foot long bed, four foot uh, wide. So what I'm gonna do is just cut two of the boards in half and I'm gonna have it double stacked. So therefore, all I have to do is cut two in half and then I'll have my two four foot sides. I've never done this before, full disclosure. How was that? Did I cut through all the way? Wait, wait, wait. It's kind of cut through all the way over here, babe, but you just didn't press hard enough. Okay. Looks good. It's a nice it's okay. cut. It's not a good cut. It's crooked. It's crooked? Yeah, it's a little jacked up. It's okay. It's your first one. It'll be fine though. Okay, 
Okay, first one is done. It's a really good size, eight feet by four feet. And technically it could be a flower bed already, but we want to do it one more level, one more higher. One more, what would you call it, level higher? Yep, one more level up. Or we're yeah. gonna do a, a two story, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that's a thing. A two-story flower bed. <laughs> All right, second one is done. Ah. Do we want it? Okay, she looks cute. So that's the area we selected. Here's the yard. Here's how it looks. I love it. This is for the support. Here, I'll hold it for you, man. Okay, I'll get the hacksaw. Alright, up and down. It's not going. You want me to get it started for you? Oh, hold up. What? It like moves too much. Okay. There. Oh my god. Do you want me to get it, babe? Yes, I'm annoyed. Ah! All right, there she is. She looks good. All right, here's our new baby. Thinks she turned out really good. Good job, babe. Okay, so we finished the bed and you guys saw everything. So we kind of wanted to sit down and talk a little bit about what we learned and what we would do differently or better or what advice we would give to you making one. So I think first things first is know what kind of garden bed you want to make. If you want to make a rised one <laughs> or one on the or a raised one or one on the ground because we went back and forth because I didn't really do my research but obviously still did your research on everything but there's a what did what why why did we go with a raised garden bed babe uh, I watched a, I think maybe one or two videos really on why to do a raised bed over or like what are the pros and cons of a raised over a um, one that you just do on the ground and like one of the main reasons are is because we have a dog and we also have bunnies in our yard mm -hmm. and having a raised bed keeps anything from trampling over it and also we can put like a wire thing around our, our um, raised bed to keep those kind of things out of our garden bed too yeah yeah so just know what you want or what you know your environment your surroundings 
But there's a lot of many other reasons, so just do your research on it. There's a couple of YouTube videos out there. And I'll link the ones that he, he watched down below. Okay, second, one that you should kind of already know, it's an obvious one, but dress accordingly. Obviously, sunscreen, hats, or whatever to protect yourself from the sun. But also, I think I would have worn pants because I have a lot of little cuts on my, on my legs because of all the tree branches and stuff. So what tip would you give while we're building it? I think whenever you're gonna go to the store and buy supplies, know what you're gonna need. Don't yeah. just go there, not, oh, like, hey, I'm just gonna make a garden better. And you have like the measurements down. Of know what you're wanting because that way you're not just wandering around the store. I also really like just asking questions when I asking people around me, um, like the associates, where things are because things take time or asking what kind of wood because we were putting yeah. the wrong kind of wood into our little cart and Alec had already taken it down the stairs and everything and he had a, did you put it back or? Yeah, I put, it, put back. it back. So, I mean, it wasn't that inconvenient but it was somewhat inconvenient. They guided us well after that. Like mm -hmm. they took us to where we needed the right kind of wood, so. I had a, a whole list of things I needed to get. I think it was a whole list I got. And one of the things I'd also recommend are get uh, deck screws. Because, yeah, outside screws because they're meant to be outside and they won't rust and stuff and it'll last a long time. Also, make sure to know if you have the right tools for it. We actually had to buy a toolkit today. We didn't have to buy the entire toolkit. Yeah. But we're going to be, Alec is going to be using it, so. It's yeah. kind of something that he wanted and I feel like we're gonna need eventually. And it was a hundred dollars off today, so. Yeah, that's a bargain. Yeah, it came with a uh, impact drill. Well, it doesn't matter what it came with. <laughs> it was a good, it was a good deal. Yeah, six piece tool set that I'll use for a long time. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in knowing more about Alex's tool set, maybe one day once you have your work room all organized, we can have a little tuber in there. Do you research on what kind of soil? I didn't really know about the compost. I didn't know that you can use leaves and branches at the bottom. You don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on filling up your raised bed and it's kind of high. You can put a whole bunch of like uh, branches and like uh, <clears throat> leaves. We had a whole bunch of leaves in the yeah, yard. Which I thought this, I thought that was genius to be honest. I was like, whoa. Cause we filled it up kind of like halfway. Yeah. And then, cause we even went over of the minimum of what our soil had to be at. Yeah. So according to the directions on the back. But all the wind awesome. blew all the leaves into a corner. So they were really easy to gather. We just put them into a box and dumped them in the raised bed. Mm -hmm. Giovanna spread them all out. And yeah, that that's gonna be something that uh, keeps our soil rich over time because it's gonna break down underneath there and keep feeding the soil with nutrients from uh, it being broken down. Yeah, which I've kind of heard of like coffee grounds and manure. One of our last points is now, once you know what you're gonna plant and everything, the seeds, make sure to read the directions. Cause we bought literally 16 different things today and we could only, we ended up only planting three of them um, because it's just the time, the best time of the year to plant them. We can't do the other stuff until April or May. So make sure to read the directions on that. And I, we would just Google how many seeds per hole. Um, I used to think that you just did one seed for a little hole, but yeah, I just, that's kind of what we did. And this is our very first garden bed. Obviously we, it's not gonna be perfect <coughs> and whatever we say on here, like I say, do your own research and all. But if you wanna give us some advice, that would be great. Oh, our, another thing actually I wanted to point out is see if your little seed packets come with markers to like mark where you planted that seed. So we're actually gonna order some from Amazon or something, we'll see what we do. But we put little sticks to kind of show where each seed is at. And we know, I mean, it's only three of them, so we know which one is which. We obviously want to really learn more about gardening. And if you have any tips or tricks about any kind of vegetables or fruit, please let us know down in the comments below because we have no idea what we're doing. We're just kind of going with the flow. You have nothing else, Ben? No, it was just a lot of fun to do. Yeah, it actually was really fun. I wish it wasn't windy, but other than that, it was really, really nice. Okay, well, I guess that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and learned a little bit. Like I said, let us know about any tips and tricks down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really supports my channel. And I will see you guys next time with a new video. Bye, guys.